Medical Anthropology, Wikipedia Article Audio Medical Anthropology Studies Human Health and Disease, Health Care Systems, and Biocultural Adaptation It views humans from multidimensional and ecological perspectives. It is one of the most highly developed areas of anthropology and applied anthropology, and is a subfield of social and cultural anthropology that examines the ways in which culture and society are organized around or influenced by issues of health, health care, and related issues. Historical Background Popular Medicine and Medical Systems Applied Medical Anthropology Agenda Training the term medical anthropology has been used since 1963 as a label for empirical research and theoretical production by anthropologists into the social processes and cultural representations of health, illness, and the nursing-slash-care practices associated with these. Furthermore, in Europe the terms anthropology of medicine, Anthropology of health and anthropology of illness have also been used, and medical anthropology, was also a translation of the 19th century Dutch term medisk anthropology. This term was chosen by some authors during the 1940s to refer to philosophical studies on health and illness. The relationship between anthropology, medicine, and medical practice is well documented. General anthropology occupied a notable position in the basic medical sciences. However, medical education started to be restricted to the confines of the hospital as a consequence of the development of the clinical gaze and the confinement of patients in observational infirmaries. The hegemony of hospital clinical education and of experimental methodologies suggested by Claude Bernard relegate the value of the practitioner's everyday experience who was previously seen as a source of knowledge represented by the reports called medical geographies and medical topographies both based on ethnographic, demographic, statistical, and sometimes epidemiological data. After the development of hospital clinical training the basic source of knowledge in medicine was experimental medicine in the hospital and laboratory, and these factors together meant that over time mostly doctors abandoned ethnography as a tool of knowledge. Most, not all because ethnography remained during a large part of the 20th century as a tool of knowledge in primary health care, rural medicine, and in international public health. The abandonment of ethnography by medicine happened when social anthropology adopted ethnography as one of the markers of its professional identity and started to depart from the initial project of general anthropology. The divergence of professional anthropology from medicine was never a complete split. The relationships between the two disciplines remained constant during the 20th century until the development of modern medical anthropology in the 1960s and 1970s. A large number of contributors to 20th century medical anthropology had their primary training in medicine, nursing, psychology or psychiatry, including W. H. R. Rivers, Abram Cardiner, Robert I. Levy, Jean Benoist, Gonzalo Aguirre Beltran and Arthur Kleinman. Some of them share clinical and anthropological roles. Others came from anthropology or social sciences, like George Foster, William Cottle, Byron Good, Tullio Sepilli, Jill Bobo, Louis Mallard, Andra S. Zempleni, Gilbert Lewis, Ronald Frankenberg, and Eduardo Mina Copyright Endes. A recent book by Sale Land and Jeunesse describes a large international panorama of the development of medical anthropology, and some of the main theoretical and intellectual actual debates. For much of the 20th century, the concept of popular medicine, or folk medicine, has been familiar to both doctors and anthropologists. 
doctors, anthropologists, and medical anthropologists used these terms to describe the resources, other than the help of health professionals, which European or Latin American peasants used to resolve any health problems. The term was also used to describe the health practices of Aborigines in different parts of the world, with particular emphasis on their ethnobotanical knowledge. This knowledge is fundamental for isolating alkaloids and active pharmacological principles. Furthermore, studying the rituals surrounding popular therapies served to challenge Western psychopathological categories as well as the relationship in the West between science and religion. Doctors were not trying to turn popular medicine into an anthropological concept, rather they wanted to construct a scientifically based medical concept which they could use to establish the cultural limits of biomedicine. Examples of this practice can be found in medical archives and oral history projects. The concept of folk medicine was taken up by professional anthropologists in the first half of the 20th century to demarcate between magical practices, medicine, and religion and to explore the role and the significance of popular healers and their self-medicating practices. For them, popular medicine was a specific cultural feature of some groups of humans which was distinct from the universal practices of biomedicine. If every culture had its own specific popular medicine based on its general cultural features, it would be possible to propose the existence of as many medical systems as there were cultures and, therefore, develop the comparative study of these systems. Those medical systems which showed none of the syncretic features of European popular medicine were called primitive or pre-technical medicine according to whether they referred to contemporary aboriginal cultures or to cultures predating classical Greece. Those cultures with a documentary corpus, such as the Tibetan, traditional Chinese or Ayurvedic cultures, were sometimes called systematic medicines. The comparative study of medical systems is known as ethnomedicine or, if psychopathology is the object of study, ethnopsychiatry, transcultural psychiatry, and anthropology of mental illness. Under this concept, medical systems would be seen as the specific product of each ethnic group's cultural history. Scientific biomedicine would become another medical system and therefore a cultural form which could be studied as such. This position, which originated in the cultural relativism maintained by cultural anthropology, allowed the debate with medicine and psychiatry to revolve around some fundamental questions. Since the end of the 20th century, Medical anthropologists have had a much more sophisticated understanding of the problem of cultural representations and social practices related to health, disease, and medical care and attention. These have been understood as being universal with very diverse local forms articulated in transactional processes. The link at the end of this page is included to offer a wide panorama of current positions in medical anthropology. In the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil, collaboration between anthropology and medicine was initially concerned with implementing community health programs among ethnic and cultural minorities and with the qualitative and ethnographic evaluation of health institutions and primary care services. Regarding the community health programs, the intention was to resolve the problems of establishing these services for a complex mosaic of ethnic groups. The ethnographic evaluation involved analyzing the inter-class conflicts within the institutions which had an undesirable effect on their administrative reorganization and their institutional objectives, particularly those conflicts among the doctors, nurses, auxiliary staff and administrative staff. The ethnographic reports show that inter-class crises directly affected therapeutic criteria and care of the ill. 
they also contributed new methodological criteria for evaluating the new institutions resulting from the reforms as well as experimental care techniques such as therapeutic communities. The ethnographic evidence supported the criticisms of the institutional custodialism and contributed decisively to policies of deinstitutionalizing psychiatric and social care in general and led to in some countries such as Italy, a rethink of the guidelines on education and promoting health. The empirical answers to these questions led to the anthropologists being involved in many areas. These include, developing international and community health programs in developing countries, evaluating the influence of social and cultural variables in the epidemiology of certain forms of psychiatric pathology, studying cultural resistance to innovation in therapeutic and care practices, analyzing healing practices toward immigrants, and studying traditional healers, folk healers, and empirical midwives who may be reinvented as health workers. Also, since the 1960s, Biomedicine in developed countries has been faced by a series of problems which demand that we inspect the predisposing social or cultural factors, which have been reduced to mere variables in quantitative protocols and subordinated to causal biological or genetic interpretations. Among these the following are of particular note. A. The transition between a dominant system designed for acute infectious pathology to a system designed for chronic degenerative pathology without any specific etiological therapy. B. The emergence of the need to develop long-term treatment mechanisms and strategies, as opposed to incisive therapeutic treatments. C. The influence of concepts such as quality of life in relation to classic biomedical therapeutic criteria. Added to these are the problems associated with implementing community health mechanisms. These problems are perceived initially as tools for fighting against unequal access to health services. However, once a comprehensive service is available to the public, New problems emerge from ethnic, cultural, or religious differences, or from differences between age groups, genders, or social classes. If implementing community care mechanisms gives rise to one set of problems, then a whole new set of problems also arises when these same mechanisms are dismantled and the responsibilities which they once assumed are placed back on the shoulders of individual members of society. In all these fields, local and qualitative ethnographic research is indispensable for understanding the way patients and their social networks incorporate knowledge on health and illness when their experience is nuanced by complex cultural influences. These influences result from the nature of social relations in advanced societies and from the influence of social communication media, especially audiovisual media and advertising. Currently, research in medical anthropology is one of the main growth areas in the field of anthropology as a whole and important processes of internal specialization are taking place. For this reason, any agenda is always debatable. In general, we may consider the following six basic fields. Other subjects that have become central to the medical anthropology worldwide are violence and social suffering as well as other issues that involve physical and psychological harm and suffering that are not a result of illness. On the other hand, there are fields that intersect with medical anthropology in terms of research methodology and theoretical production such as cultural psychiatry and transcultural psychiatry or ethnopsychiatry. All medical anthropologists are trained in anthropology as their main discipline. Many come from the health professions such as medicine or nursing, whereas others come from the other backgrounds such as psychology, social work, social education, or sociology. Cultural and transcultural psychiatrists are trained as anthropologists and, naturally, 
psychiatric clinicians. Training in medical anthropology is normally acquired at a master's and doctoral level. In Latin countries there are specific masters in medical anthropology, such as in Ma Copyright Zico, Brazil, and Spain, while in the United States universities such as Brown University, Washington University in St. Louis, University of South Florida, UC Berkeley, UC San Francisco, University of Connecticut, Johns Hopkins University, the University of Arizona, the University of Alabama, the University of Washington, and Southern Methodist University offer Ph.D. programs focused on this subject. In Asia, the University of the Philippines Manila offers both the Master of Science and Master's degrees in Medical Anthropology. The University of South Florida, the University of Arizona, the University of Connecticut, the University of Washington and others also offer a dual degree in Applied Anthropology with an MPH. In the UK, MSc and PhD programs are offered at University College, London, the University of Oxford, the University of Edinburgh and Durham University. A fairly comprehensive account of different postgraduate training courses in different countries can be found on the website of the Society of Medical Anthropology of the American Anthropological Association. The following books present a global panorama on international medical anthropology, and can be useful as handbooks for beginners, students interested or for people who need a general text on this topic. The Development of Systems of Medical Knowledge and Medical Care, The Patient-Physician Relationship, The Integration of Alternative Medical Systems in Culturally Diverse Environments, The Interaction of Social, Environmental, and Biological Factors Which Influence Health and Illness Both in the Individual and the Community as a Whole. The Critical Analysis of Interaction Between Psychiatric Services and Migrant Populations. The Impact of Biomedicine and Biomedical Technologies in Non-Western Settings Albrecht G.L. Fitzpatrick R. Scrimshaw S. Handbook of Social Studies in Health and Medicine London, Sage, Anderson, Robert Magic, Science and Health The Aims and the Achievements of Medical Anthropology Fort Worth Harcourt Brace, Bear, Hans, Singer, Merrill, and Susser, Ida Medical Anthropology and the World System. Westport, C.T., Prieger, Babo, Jill, Cultural Psychiatry in a Creolizing World. Questions for a New Research Agenda, Transcultural Psychiatry, 34-1, 9-41. Brown P.J., ed. Understanding and Applying Medical Anthropology. Mountain View, Cummels, Joseph M., Dongan, Els Van. Themes in Medical Anthropology. Perugia, Fondazione Angelo Celli Argo, Dongan, Els, Cummels, Joseph M. Medical Anthropology and Anthropology. Perugia, Fondazione Angelo Celli Argo, Ember, Carol R., Ember, Melvin, eds, Encyclopedia of Medical Anthropology, Health and Illness in the World's Cultures, New York, Kluwer Academic Slash Plenum Publishers, ISBN 0306477548, Farmer, Paul Infections and Inequalities, the Modern Plagues Berkeley, University of California Press, Farmer, Paul Pathologies of Power, Health, Human Rights and the New War on the Poor Berkeley, University of California Press, Geest, Shock van der Rinks, Ari The Art of Medical Anthropology Readings Amsterdam 
Het Spinhuis. Universiteit van Amsterdam, Good, Byron, Michael M. J. Fisher, Sarah S. Willen, Mary Jo Delvecchio Good, eds. A Reader in Medical Anthropology, Theoretical Trajectories, Emergent Realities. Malden, Ma, Wiley Blackwell, Gray, A. Y. Seal, Sea Health and Disease, A Reader. Buckingham, Philadelphia, PA, Open University Press, Hahn, Robert A. and Marcia Inhorn Anthropology and Public Health, 2nd Edition, Bridging Differences in Culture and Society. Oxford University Press, Hellman, Cecil Culture Health and Illness. An Introduction for Health Professionals. London, Butterworth Heinemann. Janssen J.M. The Social Fabric of Health An Introduction to Medical Anthropology, New York, McGraw-Hill, Johnson, Thomas, Sargent, C., Medical Anthropology Contemporary Theory and Method Westport, Prieger, Landy, David Disease and Healing, Studies in Medical Anthropology New York Macmillan, Locke, M. and Nguyen, Vin Kim and Anthropology of Biomedicine, Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 9781405110723, Lustanan M. O., Sobo E. J. The Cultural Context of Health, Illness and Medicine. Westport, Kahn, Bergen and Garvey, Nichter, Mark. Global Health, Why Cultural Perceptions, Social Representations and Biopolitics Matter Tucson, The University of Arizona Press, Poole, R. and Giesler, W. Medical Anthropology Buckingham, Open University Press, Sampson C. Health Studies A Critical and Cross-Cultural Reader Oxford, Blackwell Singer, Merrill, and Bear, Hans Introducing Medical Anthropology, A Discipline in Action. Langham, Altamira Press, Trevithan, W. Smith, E.O., McKenna J.J. Evolutionary Medicine, An Interpretation in Evolutionary Perspective. Oxford University Press, Trevithan, W. Smith, E.O., McKenna J. Evolutionary Medicine and Health, New Perspectives Oxford University Press, Wiley, as Medical Anthropology, a Biocultural Approach University of Southern California